Dempsey House in Leonardo, quite possibly one of the creepiest looking houses you'll ever see in this entire state of New Jersey. However, there are a lot of legends and stories surrounding this house that might not exactly be true. This has long been a place for teenagers and thrill seekers alike to come at night and stand right on this lawn I'm at right now and tell ghost stories surrounding this very house. Now, given the appearance, I don't really blame them. We have to try to be realistic. Whenever we look at a house like this and try to talk about whether or not any of these things have possibility of being true, we have to try to debunk what isn't. Now, there are two main stories involving this house, both involving the family that built it, the Dempseys, back in the 1950s and 60s. Now, the first story is that old man Dempsey was left to die alone in this house, and they only found his body about a week later when the neighbors called the cops because they smelled a rotting uh, smell coming out of this house. Cops went and found him. He was dead in his bed. That's the first story. The second story is that, again, poor old man Dempsey with his family, a wife and a couple of kids, he went nuts one night, decided to kill all of them, and then kill himself right in his house. Now, those are two semi-realistic stories if you look at it, but the fact is nobody has ever actually lived in this house. Dempsey's never lived here, and nobody else has before or since. In fact, this actually was located on top of a well, and that's why the house was built here. It was built to pump water to the nearby houses to give them you know, some sort of water, I guess, during the dry season. And if you look down the street, you can almost see the water. We're right by the bay. So that is the reason for this house. It was never lived in by the family. Now, if you tie that into some of the other stories, they don't make any sense without that. If you take a look at those trees, I believe it's at the edge of the property, meaning that big tree over there, if you look up at the branches. One of the policemen, upon finding Mr. Dempsey killing his entire family, which we just established was not exactly true, he just had to walk out of the house and hang himself on a tree without telling anybody anything. That is exactly what I read online. That is the legend. Now, if you take a look at that tree, how exactly did he manage to get up there? Did he have a ladder? Did he jump up there? Did he climb the tree and then manage to hang himself? To me, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. We have to be honest here. We have to be realistic. And the fact is, none of the stories involved in this house are real. You don't believe me? said that they really do not mind people like me coming here, standing here telling ghost stories, so long as we know that none of them are true.